Henry Ford's first Model T was built to run on hemp gasoline, and the car itself was constructed from hemp. On his large estate, Ford was photographed among his hemp fields. The car, grown from the soil, had hemp plastic panels whose impact strength was 10 times stronger than steel. Henry Ford ran 40,000 vehicles on hemp fuel from only 10,000 acres. The emissions are what you exhale, and the next year's crop reconverts it back into oxygen. That's a natural cycle fuel. We think that our ethanol and biofuels and flex fuel systems are all the cutting edge, but biofuel development, of course, is nothing new. Way back in the 1930s, Henry Ford was hard at work in the alternative fuel sector, and in 1941, he constructed a hemp-fueled and hemp-bodied prototype car. The plastic body panels were composed of 70% cellulose fibers, including industrial strength, mixed with a resin binder, and apparently they were pretty sturdy. A guy beats on the trunk with an axe and it fails to leave a mark. Industrial hemp won't make you high. It has no THC in it, but its association with marijuana has historically been a major legal stumbling block. There's some of you that think I'm full of shit, but the actual footage of 1941 should be proof enough for you. Amongst the thousands of products made from hemp, one of the most extraordinary is Henry Ford's plastic car. Built in 1941, it contained cellulose fibers derived from hemp, sisal, and wheat straw. The plastic was lighter than steel, yet could withstand ten times the impact without denting. 